yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can definitely do it. You, I'm not worried. I know you can do it. I am sure you can do it. Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys doing on this wonderful, beautiful day? Aurea Pampa here. And today I wanted to talk about positive self-talk. It's something that I realize I do. And I think it's been quite helpful to me, actually. And I thought I'd share it with you in case it might help you do better and be better. What's positive self-talk? Self-talk, first of all, is just the chatter that goes on in your head when you're thinking of things, when you're just up and about doing random things. But for me, I've been thinking a lot about this positive self-talk because many people are actually more used to the negative self-talk, the talk that tells you you can't do this, the talk that tells you, uh, you know, maybe it's not going to work out. I mean, what are the chances that it will, that, you know, it would work out for me in this particular respect, that sort of thing. But I find I have the opposite. I find when I'm faced with situations where I'm like, oh, never done this before, or, ooh, I wonder if that will work out, or oh, is this thing for me? I actually find I have a voice within me that says, yeah, you should try it out. Yeah, why not? I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Maybe they say no, and well, there's no skin off your nose. You just continue with life, so you might as well. I've just had a lot of positive self-talk, and I thought it's something that might encourage somebody else um, to continue doing better so here's a story that might illustrate what I'm talking about a few days ago um, some mutual friends of mine got married and before the wedding the groom had asked me if I wouldn't mind being the MC for the wedding my first thought was "Ooh, I've never been a wedding MC before can I really do this do I know what I know what to do whatever to keep the guests entertained and it wasn't just me it was gonna be with a co-host but I was like "Ooh, I'm not sure I thought I told him I'll think about it and then um, he was going to send me the program of the day as well so I could have a look and just know what I was in for. I then thought, you know what, why not? Why not? It's your first time. It may not be the easiest, but I'm sure if there's something you don't know, you can always learn. You know, you can go on YouTube, see what other MCs have talked about when it comes to being MCs for an event or for a wedding. Uh, look up games that um, couples play and see... Um, games that couples play within on the wedding day and see if it's something you can incorporate you've been to weddings before you've seen people MC at weddings I mean it's it may not be easy but it can't be that hard right you might as well try it um, see how you like it so I called him up and said okay you know what yeah I'll, I'll do it I'll do it I'll figure it out and I'll do it I got in touch with the co-host went through the program of the day then rewrote it to make sure that we knew who was doing what at each time and just to kind of get things going smoothly um, I was a bit nervous before we started because it was my first time hadn't done it before and um, I just thought okay you know what I'm gonna try it I have a plan we have a plan um, that's me and my co-host and um, we did it and we kind of coined the term Ibadon's finest so it just so happened that the co-host and I as well as the groom actually we all grew up in a place called Ibadan in Nigeria so he kind of my co-host kind of coined the term Ibadan's finest. So after we introduced ourselves, we referred to ourselves as Ibadan's finest. So that was really cool. I don't know what it was. When I got into like just the event and just started speaking, it felt natural. It felt like I've been doing this for ages. I can't even explain it. Um, but I really, really um, enjoyed it. And many people kept coming up afterwards and they were like, wow, you did a really good job. Do you do events? Do you do weddings? I'm like, well, yeah as of today <laughs> you know um but here's the thing i had a choice right uh, when my friend asked if i could be the mc i could have said ah oh, you know i'm not sure um it's not really my forte maybe i would have preferred more days to prepare um you know more time to prepare or maybe more practice that sort of thing but then sometimes you just have to take the plunge and go but it was the positive self-talk that kept telling me you know what try it out you can do this you can speak you like you can do you can do public speaking. You can also be the MC at this event. Don't worry, you can do it. You can do it. I'm sure. I'm sure you can do it. Literally, I I have positive words just going, almost like an encouraging best friend next next to you, always hyping you, telling you, you know what? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Um, sometimes we don't always have the pleasure or the um, privilege of having that encouraging best friend right next to you, but you can be your own cheerleader as well. You can actually keep on thinking to yourself, okay, how can I have positive thoughts? I did a video, a video about a year or two ago talking about soundtracks, which is um, the thoughts and feelings and um, things we repeat to ourselves in our heads over and over again. And you can have positive soundtracks and negative soundtracks. So this self-talk is 
um, this positive self-talk is your positive soundtrack. Keep telling yourself, you know what, I can do this. Anything I don't know, I can learn. There's nothing insurmountable. I can just do it and I'll keep getting better. Even if the first one didn't go well, I can do it. I'll get better. And what's the worst that can happen, okay? Whatever the worst is, it won't be that bad. I'll survive it. The next day will come and things will be okay. You know, but just having that positive self-talk, continually talking to yourself and telling yourself, I can do this. I was born to be great. I can do great and wonderful things. You'd be surprised how it would actually seep in to your being and into your understanding, your self-understanding, and actually make you think, you know what, maybe, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can try. So I'd like to say the next time you're faced with a situation that's unfamiliar, a situation where you think, oh, I don't know if this would work out, actually just say, you know what, maybe I can. Yes, I can do this. And keep encouraging yourself. Have that positive self-talk. When the negative stuff comes, push them aside and say, no, I can do this. I can do this. I'm sure I can do this. I will do this. And I will learn from each experience. So each time you're faced with something new that you want to try or you've been tasked to try and you didn't necessarily plan for but you think could be good to do, actually tell yourself, you know what, I can do this. And for anything I don't know, I can learn. I mean, I literally went on YouTube to find out how to how to MC. Like there's so much stuff online for free that you can access to learn how to do better. So I just thought, yeah, I can I can do it. Anything I don't know, I can learn. I went up and hosted the event with my co-host and it was fantastic. My co-host, by the way, I only got to know in the week of the wedding and only met him um, the, the on the traditional wedding day. So that was the day before the church wedding. I'd only met him there briefly and then we but we had been in touch over WhatsApp just to look at the plans and just checking with the groom as well what the plans were for the wedding and we did that and it was it was just beautiful I don't know how else to explain it um and now looking at it I feel like I've even found my second calling or my new calling maybe it's to be MC at different events or I don't know but I really really enjoyed it and somehow it literally felt like I entered into my element. I have to tell you though, when I did start, like I mentioned, I was nervous, okay? Um, but it's like once you get over that first hurdle of starting and you get into it, you realize actually it's not that bad. Actually, you can do it. Actually, you might have a thing for this, you know? So I just wanted to encourage you anyway. Um, whenever you're faced with a situation, you're not sure how it's going to work out, you're feeling a bit doubtful. Just pump yourself up with positive self-talk. Keep telling yourself, I can do it. Keep telling yourself, you know what, anything I don't know, I can learn. And you never know, you might just surprise yourself. And there you have it, a quick talk on positive self-talk. I hope you can take something from this today. And let me know in the comments, actually, if you apply this to your life or if you already do positive self-talk and how you go about it and if it's made a difference in your life. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.